Hi, Big Joe here. Thanks for joining me again. As you know, me and Nancy have been helping Ed Shearling get his new band Quackalack up and running. Things seem to be going well. Quackalack are even trending on the internet. But it's not all plain sailing. Come on, let's find out more. Bonjour. This is our new track. On the podcast. Look, Quackalack's vlog is getting thousands of hits. They'll be as famous as me soon. That's great. Hang on. What's that there? That video? Hmm. It's the same song. It looks like a cover version. Quackalack. How mean. And look who the uploader is. None other than Kitty Perry. That's just typical of that creepy copycat. Surely she's not allowed to use the song and create her own video. And to make a mean meme out of it as well. What a festering feline she is. Calm down. Let's look in the musical box and find out more about the rules for sharing things online. Right. Before you upload any blogs, videos or songs to the internet, you need to remember that the internet is forever. It can be hard to remove content once it's out there. So first things first, never upload anything that might embarrass you later. Imagine if that flea-bitten feline Kitty Perry is down on her luck in the future. She has put so many mean things on the internet that no one will trust her. Think how embarrassed she'd be. Fortunately, I'm never embarrassed. Yeah, I know, and never wrong either. <laughs> but you make a very good point. Whether it's words you've written on your blog, or a video posted on YouTube, or a song you've uploaded, if you created it, you own the copyright. It's fine for other people to link to these things if they post it on a public website. After all, the internet is great for sharing stuff. But people aren't allowed to copy anything without your permission. Like if someone had uploaded your video on their YouTube channel or cut and pasted words from your website and pretended they wrote it. You've got it. And that includes making cover versions of your songs. If something of yours has been copied without your permission, you can contact the person or the website or failing that, the internet hosting company, and tell them to remove it. What about that mean meme? They've taken the song and made the words all silly. Well, that's a bit more complicated. Using humour to make a funny imitation of something is allowed. It's something called parody. But the rules are very clear that you mustn't be mean or cause harm. And a parody can't contain large amounts of the original content. Hmm, sounds complicated. Well, I suppose if it makes even more people want to listen to the original version, well, that could help Ed and Quackalack become even more famous. That's certainly one way of looking at it. But remember, hurting people's feelings is always wrong. And on the internet, this is known as cyberbullying. If you've uploaded something and people are mean about it, you should always tell an adult and don't be mean back. Yeah, play nicely. I never leave nasty comments on websites. Not even Kitty Perry's? I wouldn't give her the satisfaction. I'm too busy being fabulous. <laughs> hey, you. That's right, I'm talking to you. If you love making music, why not have a crack at recording a video of your own songs? You can use most tablets and smartphones to make recordings, or just even put on a show for your brothers and sisters. Be safe, though, and don't post anything online that breaches copyright. And remember to get your parents' permission first. That's an order from Big Joe. Nancy's Musical Box, with support from the Intellectual Property Office.